the district of criminals, the only people allowed to walk with firearms are the criminals themselves. Now, D.C. residents can have a rifle or shotgun registered at their home, but there are rules for transporting those firearms. Uh, and police say that Kokish, what he did was illegal. He could face up to five years in federal prison. But again, right now, we're told that police are issuing a search warrant. It's not clear whether they plan to take him right, into folks. custody or whether they have taken So there is the foaming at the mouth media. We actually have... All the details up at InfoWars.com, the photos, the videos, everything sent to us by his crew. who are going to have pop in uh, later in the next hour. In fact, the gentleman you saw that's one of his uh, producers right there who was on the local news, uh, they're uh, charging him, they're saying, with having a firearm with drugs, uh, being the devilish marijuana. Uh, one of the few products the government does not ship in. They ship in the heroin, the cocaine. They push the Ritalin class drugs, the Prozac class drugs, the Adderall speed, uh, you know, the deadly uh, synthetic speed and uh, hallucinogens uh, on your children 24-7 at the government brainwashing camps. Uh, in between the days they have the kids come and learn how to cross-dress at age five and uh, learn how to uh, perform oral sex at age seven, at the public schools, uh, they're at the pedophile training centers, uh, on, on record. And then you have the pedophile training uh, TV shows teaching the kids how to be sexual at age five as well. Uh, but the pedophile forces uh, are very, very upset that you would have a slave in the district of evil uh, dare to load a shotgun. This is, this is an abomination in land of the uh, abortion uh, home of the low IQ. Uh, in the land of the surveilled uh, home of the coward, uh, it, is, it is just blasphemy uh, that uh, he would dare do this. So they reportedly had, uh, now more numbers are coming out. First, it was two helicopters uh, and two armored vehicles. Now it's five armored vehicles, over 100 armed police, uh, two different federal agencies with their local minions following behind them, worshiping them, uh, and uh, kicking down the door, throwing flashbangs on them, then beating up Kokesh. Uh, and stomping around ransacking things because they all watch Hollywood movies and that's how the tough guys are. In the new Hollywood movie, CIA comes to your house and kills your kids. And that's good. So see, they're, they're normalizing it and every show is nothing but SWAT teams constantly raiding everyone so that you just expect that. Like you don't go outside and see birds on the, on the power line. You go out and see SWAT teams. And so it's just, it's just what we do in America. And, and we have the biggest prison population and all the rest of it. Uh, so just imagine in the country where they abort a couple million babies a year, including nine-month-old babies that, uh, you know, they have trouble holding down while they chop them up with meat cleavers. Sorry if you don't want to hear that. I mean, that's, that's what goes on. Sh cram them down toilets, and sometimes they keep them alive and sell them for medical experiments. By the way, I, you know, I told you a long time ago that when you go into the hospital in a car wreck uh, and you go into the major hospitals, especially big city-run charity hospitals that are actually Rockefeller-controlled, most of them are. My tax-free foundations are actually profit hospitals, but they call themselves charities. You're dead. The healthier you are, they're going to do a blood test. You're dead. You're dead. ABC News. Patient wakes up as doctors get ready to remove organs. The nurses all said she's alive. She's got response, her brain waves, everything's fine. Uh, she's got a drug overdose of uh, prescription pills. We need to administer charcoal. But the he heads of the hospital said no. They said, get them in there and get those organs. <laughs> My dad told me when I was 15 years old, going and doing driver safety, he said, you don't sign that organ donor card. And I said, why, Dad? My dad was an oral surgeon and dentist, and back then he would volunteer he got paid to do it, but he would volunteer to be the guy to call the wired jaws at, you know, 3 a.m. after car wrecks and things. And he worked in the biggest hospitals. He just said, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave it at this. Don't sign it. You're healthy. You're young. If you go in there with any kind of trauma, a lot of these hospitals will put you under and take your organs. I told this story for 18 years on air. And then it was probably, I don't know, five years later. Because we'd moved to Austin by then, and I was visiting my grandparents. I used to go over there and eat dinner with them on Sunday. I'd go to church with them sometimes, too. My grandmother would make me dinner every Sunday evening. I'm that type of nerd, you know, terrorist, square. You know, I'd go eat with Grandma. 
and uh, we watched 60 Minutes where they admitted hospitals in Dallas in, and uh, uh, Chicago were killing people in assembly lines to get their organs. And here's just another one. And, of course, this is a whitewash, too. It's like the feds are investigating, uh, and it's all because the nurse... Nurses threw fits and blew the whistle. So now the feds are going, we, we're just going to check the bioethics procedures and why the mistake was made. They're there, wink, wink. <laughs> Good job, doctors. Wink, wink. We're here to find out why this happened. And, of course, it's come out in Austin four or five times. I remember in the last decade that they kill you at these hospitals and they, uh, they, they take everything. In fact, a lot of times they'll try to keep you alive quietly to, while they're busy selling off different parts. That's how they got caught last time. <laughs> and just like most of the food's fake, most of the meat isn't beef, most of the fish isn't even fish. It's all fake. It's all fraud. It's all lies. We've decided to go into a criminal culture. And so we're going to collapse. That's how it works. When the radiation clouds that are still raining down on us from Japan, the trade winds blow right across, as well as the jet stream above it, they just raise the level of the isotopes between 25 and 20 plus thousand times, depending on the isotope. Look it up at the Environmental Protection Agency. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, Fukushima boss hailed as hero dies. Maso Yoshida, who led the 50-man suicide team, as they were called, in to try to uh, dump concrete and other things in on top of the gas clouds so that it wouldn't rain down on us. Well, he never got thanks here in America because they wouldn't even admit radiation clouds were coming down. He and most of his team have now died uh, two years later, and he died yesterday. But hey, uh, you know what? Ann Coulter said the Japanese that radiation's good for you, they should be thankful. I told Ann, hey, honey, why don't you go over there and, 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 and volunteer, you know, to go in there and wallow around in the plutonium reactor, the most deadly type there is, the most, uh, most nauseous. And of course, all over Japan, children are dropping dead because it'll cause a cardiac response, uh, basically, where children go around first, their, their gums bleed, they bleed out of uh, their intestines, and, and then they go to the doctors and they keep it quiet and say, yeah, it's probably radiation poisoning. The butterflies are dying, the bees are dying, the birds are dying all over the country in many areas, uh, and the children are dropping dead all over the country because they've got youth on their side, but they finally just dropped dead of heart attacks. And so what if your teeth are falling out and blood's coming out? I mean, it's loving you ought to be thankful. <laughs> like Ann Coulter said, that's the New World Order spirit right there. The Japanese ought to pay General Electric billions of dollars for the gift of the fountain of youth, the five reactors that blew up or partially blew up and that are still smoking deadly plutonium uranium particles into the atmosphere that are being picked up by other particula and brought over here as little little hot particle gifts because the background radiation that was already doubled in the northern hemisphere from all the nuclear testing now they say it's doubled again you can look look that up it's doubled again since fukushima that is by some comparisons between 70 and 100 it varies but top nuclear physicists we've had on 70 100 times uh what happened at chernobyl why not i mean the radiation of du is good for the troops the Army wouldn't allow it to be used prior to 1990, but see, a magic trendy wand was waved. Fluoride's good for you. DU's good for you. Uranium's good for you. Plutonium's good for you. That's why they add it to the water supplies. In most water districts, you don't just get fluoride. You get hundreds of other things like lead, mercury, arsenic, uh, uh, radon uh, scale, uh, all these other uh, uranium, all these other goodies, and these are goodies. It's fun to start bleeding your, in your urine and go in and learn you got a big tumor in your uh, kidney or in your, uh, in your bladder and to go and have it chopped out and go through two years of chemotherapy and surgeries and then die and go into a, a coffin. It's fun. Party!
Party time! It's fun to have the NSA spying on us. Party time! It's fun to have over 100 federal troops and four or five armored vehicles and two helicopters go in and, and Kokesh was reportedly sitting on the couch after an hour of them tearing it apart and asked to be able to urinate, so they punched him in the face and then kicked him to the floor. Good! Good! I mean, that's what you do in Fallujah! That's what Kokesh witnessed in Fallujah, was killing civilians, is what, is what made him wake up. How dare him? How dare, line him up like an Iraqi and splatter his guts all over the wall. woo -hoo! This is the time of evil. Abort babies. Partial birth. Yeah. Yeah. Bless us with radiation. Bless us. Bless us, New World Order. We love the curses. Thank you. What they chant, hundreds of Democrats down at the Capitol from different angles as pro-lifers had their designated time in the open rotunda to uh, pray. They, they, they chanted, Hail Satan, and ran around in circles with, with their tongues hanging out. Go watch the video. Just tongues hanging out, saying, Hail Satan, and let me tell you something. Satan hears your prayers, and is going to rip your guts out and just torture you and drag you through the dirt a hundred times worse than you've done the innocent. Because God will just step back and go, okay, you want Satan? Here, have your devil. Have your devil. Enjoy it. I hope you like it. Because God says, vengeance is mine. And the wicked beg to be torn limb from limb. They beg to die slowly. And you will. You will die miserable, horrible, painful deaths in your deceit. USA, yeah, give me some USA. Or is that some of their Hail Satan chanting? Because you're going to trust the system and go to it as they kill you slowly and suck everything out of you. Do you hear that? That's not even one of the really good ones. We've got like five in there. You got them where they run right up to the camera and say, Hail Satan. You got to listen carefully and watch their mouths as they ring around the Christians saying the Hail Satan. We'll, we'll cue that up during a break and get the one. So what happens is we loaded it with a bunch of bad ones, and then I went out yesterday and we found the good one. Uh, but uh, continuing here, oh, oh, you do have some of the more, uh, uh, more audible ones. Uh, well, sure, let's play, play that little jewel then for people. Look at those evil Christians praying lovingly and compassionately for children. Oh. And they're ringed by people saying, Hail Satan. And then she runs into the camera through the police with her tongue hanging out. Hear him, Hail Satan, Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Oh, man, I tell you. Ooh, don't want to be her. <laughs> That's all I can say. Wow. <laughs> These people talk about it, too. I see them on YouTube and everywhere going, I love it. I love the evil that's going to happen. Okay, well, guess you have it coming now. And, you know, what I'm here to do is to try to shock you with the reality of what we're going through here. Because this is how evil works. People get into a normalcy bias where they will put up with anything. And I'm here desperately trying to awaken the sleeping giant, going, wake up, wake up, wake up. This is not good. Do the D.C. police go and gangbangers every day rob and shoot people? No, they have one of the highest crime rates in the world. Um, are people safe in Mexico where they've taken all the guns? The answer is no. It has the highest crime rate for a country in the world. We have a few cities that beat them per capita, Chicago, D.C., where you have the police dressed up like Latin American dictators, you know, in these fancy military outfits that look like North Korean dictator outfits, all with their weapons, their helicopters, their tanks, freaking out if a slave dare load a shotgun. I mean, just think about what these people are doing to all of us. Think about how pathetic as a culture we've gotten and admit that it's wrong. Oh, Adam Kokesh has been charged with possessing hallucinogenic mushrooms. Oh, how horrible, how evil, and who knows if it's even true. And then that's how they're getting the gun charge on Adam Kokesh. Hallucinogenic mushrooms and marijuana. But if you wanna give little kids age two Prozac-type 
drugs and antipsychotics that are, according to every medical doctor we've talked to, much more serious than even mushrooms. Well, then, that's a good humanitarian thing to do because that's something controlled by the big pharmaceutical companies, the same ones that put HIV and hepatitis in the blood products for you and your family. Again, just look at the legions of examples of secret testing, all the rest of it. When we come back, though, when we come back, you know, as I promised, I'm going to get into the government openly announcing the spy state, telling the feds to all spy on each other. Does somebody take vacations? Does somebody volunteer for jobs? Oh, yeah, that's a sure time. I thought that's a sign for promotion. Well, the federal government, that's that's not. That that's a sign you're a you're an extremist. But but then why is everybody upset? The, the big next national news story, people finally had their conscience shocked by this, is the hundreds of FBI training flyers that we've written about where they say paying for coffee with cash is an act of suspicious pro-terrorism behavior or wearing blue jeans. So we're going to put those articles back out and hopefully wake some people up and show them to you. Where is our conscience? What won't we put up with? Everything the government's doing is illegitimate and illegal. They're robbing $85 billion a month in QE3 and giving it to foreign banks. They're, they're, they've already looted most of the federal pension funds on record. They're already telling federal workers you're going to get an IOU. Do you idiots understand they want to bring the tyranny in so they can implode everything? Liberty created the prosperity. But they've got so many people scared in the federal government. That's what all this announcement is. They've had this for decades, this spying on federal employees and going after whistleblowers. But Obama has persecuted, not prosecuted, persecuted with his prosecutions more legitimate whistleblowers mainline news even admits that all presidents before him combined they wouldn't arrest somebody that blew the whistle on illegal money laundering or torture in the past you'd get it a medal if your supervisors you know were doing something you blew the whistle they're going after law-abiding citizens that do their duty if you know a crime's being committed and you don't blow the whistle on it you are now an accomplice so I want to be clear, in the federal government, there's a huge awakening. That's what this is about. In the police, there's a giant awakening. In the military, there's the biggest. We're going to start the next hour, and we do have Adam Kokesh's producer coming on to give you an exclusive on what happened to him. Then I'll get into the details on the spy grid and how it affects you and what this means as a culture, the latest on the Trayvon Martin case. And the police now confirming what we told you. There is organized plans for rioting. They're trying to stop it. At least locally, the Justice Department's been caught behind the scenes trying to stir it up. Uh, also, we're going to get into Russia, says Syrian mercenaries behind chemical attacks, uh, jetliner crash. Other uh, experts are now saying, according to Natural News, and it's, it's a good bibliography, because the, the, the flights are so computerized that when there is a computer problem, the pilots don't even know how to fly anymore. We're going to be getting into that. Uh, we're going to be covering all of it today. But I want to announce a new incredible product. I'm going to be honest with you. Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the most powerful, best, most amazing, all-in-one, the essential 90 nutrients, minerals, trace elements, huge dosages of A, B, C, D, uh, vitamin C, all of it out there. And almost all of it is really organic. But when you have hundreds of ingredients, it's very hard to get them all certified. Okay, so people for two years have wanted it. There's no product out there that's got hundreds of things in it like this that people can say is organic, 100% USDA certified and third party certified. It took them two years. They did it. We're premiering it at InfoWarsHealth.com. It's premiering there and you can get free shipping at InfoWarsHealth.com. The lowest prices, the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine Citrus Peach Fusion, amazing flavor, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex, premiering at InfoWarsHealth.com today, a 8,000 total ORAC per serving. Unbelievable what this does. Probiotics, amino acids, essential cofactors, and more. Trace minerals, antioxidants, whole foods. Ladies and gentlemen, I love both flavors. They've got the uh, you know, fruit punch, citrus, beyond tangy tangerine that I love. And then they've got this. And I'm telling you, this is 
percent. Citrus Punch, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex 2.0, certified, non-GMO, pesticide-free whole foods. Certified. It's easy to have one thing and certify it. This was a gargantuan, Herculean task. You want it, you've got it. You've got the old-fashioned, the on-tangy tangerine, and I can't decide which one I like better. And quite frankly, this is, this is, this is pretty much certified. This is, most of this is certified, but they can't say that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is 100% USDA certified, but that's not what matters. It's third-party certified as well. So again, InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsHealth.com, and there's also the toll-free number there on the side if you want to call and ask any questions or order online, InfoWarsHealth.com. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.